There's nothing more satisfying than a heaping slice of justice. It's even better when it occurs naturally, carried out in accordance with the universe's twisted sense of humor. Karma has been dealing out justice since the dawn of time, but only recently have technological advancements allowed us to capture its wickedly wonderful ways on video. So, to do justice to Karma's abiding place in the public consciousness, here's an all-encompassing mixture of some of the most satisfying times Karma came for awful people, past and present. Thanks to the internet, we can all experience the satisfaction of seeing infuriatingly inconsiderate people receive some instant justice in super convenient video form. In this viral clip, a woman clearly thinks her conversation with a friend is more important than allowing the train to leave the station on time. Train delays are annoying enough, let alone when they're caused by selfish individuals. With a swift kick, the situation was resolved, much to the surprise pleasure of the other passengers. Time to rewind. This timeless tale, passed down through the generations, begins at the end of the 19th century. When Texan Henry Zeiglin broke his fiancée's heart by calling off their engagement, she was so distraught that she committed suicide. Her brother, overcome by vengeance-fueled fury, made his way onto Henry's land and shot him before using the second round in the chamber on himself. Little did he know the first bullet had merely grazed the side of Henry's head, shooting off into the woodland behind him. Henry survived the ordeal and 20 years passed. One day, Henry was carrying out some landscaping on his property, removing several trees in the process, but one was proving difficult to uproot. Henry resolved to blow it up with some TNT, which wasn't so unusual then as it sounds now. Henry detonated the TNT and died instantly. Not from the explosion itself though, Buried deep within that tree was the very bullet that had missed him by a millimeter two decades earlier. In the explosion, it had been launched back out and hit its original mark. Seems his jilted lover finally got her payback. You're about to see why you should never turn your back on a cowboy. This armed robber seems to be new to the job, as he wears no facial cover, nor does he see fit to change out of his regular, casual hoodie and cap. He threatens the till operator and the mustachioed bystander with his handgun, and things seem to be going fairly well for him. But by the way this guy takes off his glasses, you can tell it wasn't going to end well for the robber. Things take a turn for the unexpected when an oblivious customer approaches the till with their items. The would-be robber is startled and makes a serious error. Little does he know, the cowboy is waiting for him to slip up. As soon as the robber turns around, the cowboy intervenes. This rare, unlikely act of calm bravery proved to be a potentially life-saving example of right person, right place, right time. After some scuffling, the robber is apprehended by a neat throat takedown. Let's see that again. Is karma a feminist? Looking at most of human history, you probably wouldn't think so. Yet this story from 1887 raises a few questions. In an effort to have a jolly good laugh at the expense of the female sex, a handful of fellows, who were displeased with the success of women's right activists in their Kansas town, decided to take action. The group of around 20 men submitted their candidate for the mayoral elections, a woman named Susanna Salter but their chortles soon turned to gasp of astonishment. The men were certain that no one would ever vote for a woman as mayor. But Susanna, who had been involved with the push to allow female involvement into politics, went on to win 60% of the vote. She became the first female mayor in the United States, and what could be described as the living manifestation of a middle finger. There's nothing more rage-inducing than a reckless driver who feels like they have the right to break the rules at their own convenience especially when they put others in danger in the process. Luckily, from time to time, karma has our backs. Case in point, this impatient meathead decides the driving lanes aren't up to his standards and opts to speed along in the parking lane, giving the middle finger as he does. Fast forward a bit and he gets held at a set of lights. The cameraman has the great pleasure of seeing red and blue lights appear in the reflection of the car in front. Like we all would, the cameraman chuckles as he passes the reckless driver, <laughs> who now has a cop car behind him and has descended into an all-encompassing rage, denying any responsibility. Karma served. 
In this similar case of deliciously instant karma, we see a dash cam owner pull into the left lane, which appears to be clear to avoid a buildup of traffic. Unfortunately, another vehicle is speeding way over the limit, too fast to be initially noticed by the dash cam user. The speeding car behind has to brake, much to his annoyance. So much so, he pulls up in front of the camera owner and climbs out ready to rumble. But the moment he steps out, he realizes his error. A cop has seen the whole thing and has pulled up directly behind. Despite a hilariously feeble attempt to point the blame on the dash cam user as a justification for the recklessness and seeming threat of violence, there's no way out of this one and he ended up with a ticket. Ever left the job interview feeling like things couldn't have gone worse? No matter how bad yours was, this next candidate takes the karma cake. When candidate recruiter Matt Buckland was rudely barged out of the way and told to go himself on the tube to work, he brushed off the aggressive encounter and went on with his day. He certainly didn't expect that once he reached his office and sat down to interview a potential new employee, he would find that same antagonistic commuter sat smiling politely across from him. Needless to say, that particular candidate didn't get the job. He did, however, get a healthy dose of karma. What's the worst first impression you've ever made? Let me know in the comments below. Who knows, I may even feature yours in a future video. Sports can get pretty heated from time to time, but that doesn't justify cheating. It definitely doesn't justify pushing a fellow cyclist off their bike during a race. The karma here is twofold, as the aggressive cyclist initially falls off his bike before a motley crew of outraged fans even step in. But once they do, he's hoisted up and over. There's a moment of dread before we see the water below, but either way, it's a long fall, and justice is well and truly served. Not everyone gets to administer their own form of justice in retaliation to being robbed. Nor should they. We have laws to free us of that responsibility. But sometimes, the heat of the moment provides an opportunity that's hard to resist. This video, outside of Denny's in Los Angeles, shows an attempted robbery gone wrong. When the perpetrator forces his way into his victim's car, stealing items and making a break for it, he never anticipates that this individual would seek his own justice. Before the thief knows what's what, the robbed man quickly whips his car around and floors it toward the robber. The robber tries to pull out his gun in defense, but it's too late and he is sent barreling into the air. That's not all though. When the car collides with the thief, his gun goes off and he shoots himself in the leg. He won't be running from any cops anytime soon, as he ended up in intensive care. When he's finally released from hospital, his on-camera cry means there won't be much to celebrate either, as he'll be straight off to the slammer. Does PETA control karma? It certainly seemed that way after this unbelievable case of pro-animal rights instant karma took place in 2015. When a Texan spotted a shelled intruder on his property, he quickly grabbed his 38 revolver. You know, because gunfire is the only rational way to get rid of an armadillo. He took aim, fired three times, and was struck in the head by his own bullet after it ricocheted off the critter's shell. Luckily for him, the bullet struck his jaw. And though the injuries were minor, I doubt he'll be rushing into another showdown against one of these animals anytime soon. What is it with Texans and hilarious acts of karma? The tale of Francois Lolonnet is a funny one. He was a pirate operating in the Caribbean during the 1600s. He had a nasty habit of torturing the locals in the coastline towns he and his crew pillaged, taking particular enjoyment in cutting chunks of flesh from his unfortunate victims until they succumbed to their gruesome injuries. Karma finally took its own chunk out of Lolonet when he was shipwrecked and captured by natives near Panama. These unfriendly locals gave the pirate their customary treatment for unwelcome guests. They tore him into pieces, alive, throwing his body limb after limb into a raging fire. Now for the infamous case of Maximilien Robespierre. You may already be aware that during the French Revolution, the newly invented guillotine was up and down more than a Parisian courtesan's girdle. This was due in no small part to the strong advocacy for execution from prominent individuals during and after the revolution. 
for which only the highly efficient guillotine could meet the demands. One individual, Monsieur Robespierre, was particularly fond of sending his perceived political opponents to the block during the Reign of Terror, but his strong lust for clean cuts was soon turned around on him, and his own neck ended up on the chopping block when the chaotic tides of the revolution turned against him. The same type of sharp, shiny, poetic justice also fell upon the necks of many of his peers. It's easy to get a little caught up in the wildness of competitive sports, but that doesn't excuse being a jerk to the players. After all, whether your team or not, they're there for your entertainment. In one game, Steve Sullivan of the Chicago Blackhawks sustained a painful hockey stick to the face, but this hockey fan doesn't seem to care much about mutual respect as he mocks Sullivan from the other side of the barrier. Steve seems unfazed. Perhaps he knew karma was about to deal out some sweet, sweet revenge for him. Shortly afterwards, a stray puck flies through the air, over the barrier, and straight into the once mocking face of a certain deserving crowd member. As if to rub salt into the wound, Sullivan then goes on to score two goals in the game for the Blackhawks. Justice doesn't get much quicker or more appropriate than that. So, do you have your own instant karma stories? I'd love to read them in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching.